I am Alex Tung. I am a research development and application engineer here at Sensoron. And today I'm going to be demonstrating the Sensoron fiber optic sensing platform. Uh, and I will be demonstrating its capability to sense uh, strain and temperature, the two direct measurements that the system makes, as well as two derived measurements from those, uh, including deflection or 2D shape, as well as three-dimensional shape. So on here, on this table in front of me, I have a very thin, virtually weightless optical fiber. There's a straight section around here, and there's a coiled section around here. Uh, behind me, I have the live, real-time output of this fiber. Uh, the x-axis, so running along the horizontal axis, is length along the fiber, so I can locate where things are happening, as well as this vertical axis to quantify what is happening at any given location. So this vertical axis is going to show strain, or how much the fiber is being stretched or compressed, uh, or uh, temperature, which is how much I'm heating it up or cooling it down. Uh, so I'm going to start by showing strain. I'm going to hold on to the first part of the fiber. With my other fingers, I'm going to pull this first initial length. And immediately in the output, you will see not only where my fingers are, but how much I'm pulling the rest of the fiber. Now I'm going to let that go. Uh, the fiber is also sensitive to temperature, so I'm also going to take my fingers and grab the coiled part of the fiber. So because it's coiled, there's multiple parts underneath my fingers. You will see a few uh, temperature increases, indicating where my finger is and the temperature change at that point. And then when I let go, it's going to cool back down to room temperature, indicating my fingers are no longer there. This demonstration is going to show the response of the system and the fibers whenever the fibers are bonded to some sort of substrate. Uh, so here I have the same fiber, uh, same bare fiber, but now it's bonded to this glass fiber beam. And when I start moving it around, you can see on the plot behind me, the deformation is now in color. The x-axis is the length along the beam, and the y-axis is increasing time. So one of the things that you can do with this data is you can use it to reconstruct the deflection or the 2D shape uh, of this beam in real time. Uh, so now as I move it around, uh, you can now see the shape of the entire length of the beam continuously along its length. Uh, so this is very useful in applications such as in aerospace. Uh, the wings of an aircraft are essentially long beams. And so you can not only monitor the load distribution through them, the strains and stresses, but also the deflection shape, you know, how the wing is bending in flight and vibrating. Uh, this has also been used to uh, track body movements in the medical industry, the shape of one's spine, the movement of your arms or legs, uh, and it's also been used to track and monitor various uh, medical devices. In this demonstration, I will be showing the three-dimensional shape sensing capabilities of the Sensoron fiber optic uh, sensing platform. Uh, so I have here a 3D fiber sensor. And as you can see behind me, our system is capable of tracking the three-dimensional location of this fiber continually its, along its length. Uh, this has a huge number of applications in the medical industry, uh, including monitoring where catheters are being inserted and delivering medicines to as well as doing things like tracking uh, the movement of the human body. Uh, so I can even tie this thing in knots uh, in itself, and it will track very precisely the three-dimensional location of every single point along this fiber. Uh, not shown during these demonstrations are various other applications that the technology is capable of, uh, including liquid level sensing. Uh, these fiber sensors can be inserted into various types of uh, vessels containing one or more different types of liquids, and we can not only tell you the total volume of liquid within the vessel, but also uh, we can discriminate between individual liquids. Uh, we can also do distributed pressure sensing in many cases, as well as distributed magnetic field sensing. Uh, if you're interested in more information about this technology or its applications, please visit our website uh, or shoot us an email at info at